not good considering like there's been a lot of delays on some services and then we have to pay extra for not services that way we need to get to work on time and stuff so it's not really fair uh, yeah the squeeze on on wages and the increase in in welfares as well is yeah, having a big impact on, on i think people of my generation especially um it's just too much money for the quality we get i'm just stood up jam-packed like this can't even read my book um and it's just depressing we just expect it as well It isn't about investing in the railways, it's massively subsidised. And what's happening is that subsidy is being withdrawn from our railway system, going to shareholders and often to European uh, nations. Uh, Netherlands, Spoorwegen and Deutsche Bahn being two companies, state-owned controlled companies, uh, cases in point. That goes to uh, improve railway services abroad. And what we're saying is we should be doing that for ourselves. That's why we want to take the railways back into public ownership put a cap on fares, not have this ridiculous increase over the piece. Three times the rate of earnings, uh, pr uh, fares now increased, 32% since 2010. But median earnings are about 10%. So you can see there's absolute dislocation. And now we're seeing numbers decline, people using the railway. And we want to see a modal shift from cars to the railway. And this is going to put it in the, in the wrong direction to say nothing of the environmental damage that would be caused if that was to be the case. So I'm afraid the protestations about the, uh, the uh, generosity of the train operating companies in investing on our railways is complete and utter nonsense. Cut fares, not jobs. Cut fares, not jobs. Cut fares.